Changes are coming to the city of Charleston zoning code. The existing code affects all development in the city, both commercial and residential, but it hasn't been updated in more than four decades. Our Claire Weber spoke with city planning officials on what they're looking to accomplish with the changes. Claire? Tessa, arguably the biggest change to the zoning code is one city leaders hope will help guide new development as sea levels continue to rise. And officials believe Charleston will be the first place to establish a citywide elevation zoning code. Our existing zoning ordinance is many decades old, so the whole thing really needs to be updated, brought into the 21st century, graphics added, make it much more user friendly. The city of Charleston has had the same city zoning code since 1966. Now, city officials are planning to make necessary changes with a focus on the city's future development. Most of this deals with when you're expanding your business or expanding your house or building a new house or a new business or a new neighborhood. The new and improved code will include elevation based zoning in an effort to combat rising sea level and flooding. It comes less than a month after Mayor William Cogswell announced a new flooding plan to increase preparation ahead of severe weather. What this plan is, is an effort to uh, put in some temper, what I hope to be temporary uh, solutions to allow us to frankly live with water for a little while until we get more permanent solutions in place. City officials are hoping these zoning changes will be one of those permanent solutions. The updates call for less future development in areas of lower elevation or that are closer to sea level. There's very extensive mapping that's done in our comprehensive plan that shows the areas that have better elevation and worse elevation. And you know, the worse elevation areas have more potential for impact by rising water. The updated code would push for higher density development to strictly pop up in areas with better elevation. The city is hosting a public meeting tomorrow at 5 p.m. at the International Longshoremen's Association Hall to present the proposed changes and receive public feedback. Officials don't expect the new ordinance to reach city council for a vote until the end of this year. Claire Weber, News 4.